all right welcome back everybody to another video in the unreal engine multiplayer component system we are nearing the end uh all of the major functionality is there we'll just add some more stuff that people have requested and some more stuff that i want to add in uh but yeah before we jump into it thanks to all of my amazing patrons you can see them on the screen here uh really appreciate it helps me continue my work and obviously appreciate all of you for watching and subscribing if you're new to the channel welcome and subscribe and like and all of that and let's just go so we do still have some issues um the major functionality is there i said we have the chests we have the merchants we have, have the world items we can pick up and stuff I did change some things in between the video, just updated the UI a little bit to look a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set this up. So this video is, uh, yeah, I was sick last week, so I was sick and bored and didn't have energy to record. So I just made some new icons and changed the layout a little bit. Uh, nothing, no major change that shouldn't affect any like functionality. Uh, but I have all of this stuff here now. So I'm just quickly going to go over the menu uh, settings and we're going to change. Um, we have this item duping thing that can happen sometimes. You see, I'm the same here. So we're going to fix that as well. Um, You can see. So let's start by fixing the item duping. And at the end of the video, depending on how long that takes, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how I made these UI changes. They are very optional. You don't have to do this. You're free to just keep the keep the menu as it was before. Uh, you don't have to have these like side thingies. That's just how I prefer to have it. Makes it a little bit clearer. So Let's get into it. Mm. Let's start by figuring out why that happens. WB. Am I using this? Uh. So. Mm. Inventory drop slot. Yeah, I am using this. I highly doubt it's needed at this point, actually. But let's just keep it here. I'm going to move it down here just so that we drop it on the same spot. Um, yeah. So, on drop. We get the payload. Mm. So equipment salt is false. And storage slot is false. This probably shouldn't happen. We drop it to the inventory. Let me just see, so I'm not thinking wrong here. Yeah, now I can't drag it here, but I can still drag it here, right? Yeah, that seems correct. So in the inventory, or in the inventory drop slot, this functionality was copied from copied from the world drop slot, so it's not needed. Because if we drop into the inventory, it's either gonna be from an equipment slot or from a storage slot. So this was from items, like from the inventory slot. If both of the equipment and storage slot was fault false, so we don't actually need that connected. So I'm just gonna leave it there for now in case I 
did something else with that. And uh, we're going to do the same for the chest. We have the on drop. So payload. We can probably do it a bit easier here. Don't need that. So this, is, oh no, sorry, storage slot. So we're gonna get the is storage slot. Before we do this, I'm gonna do a branch for this as well. So we can't drop from a storage slot to a storage slot. So that should solve the storage issue. I can still do that. 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 So that seems to work. Still replicating, still replicating. Yep, yeah. right, seems to work. Good. So that was it for now. That was easier than expected. Mm. That's good. That works. I'm just checking, checking for bugs. That's an issue. Mm. So we still need to update it, like if several people are. So Shield of Mighty Defense, Shield of Mighty Defense, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it here, it disappears there. And that works. So that works, but it doesn't work if we are several people who interact with it. Okay. Uh, I need to fix that as well. It works when I buy stuff. So yeah. Okay. So we have this in the buy, we have this array for this. So we should do that when we sell stuff also. So this is the function that 
updates the inventory on all of the players. I'll take this. I go here. Red Helm. Now we can see it appeared here as well without any updates. Red Helm. All right. Um, this is a part of the update function i think because i had three players connected and only two of them were interacting with the inventory the third one is causing an error like if I delete this one, there's only going to be two people. You can see it disappeared on this one. When I'll sell it again, it appears there again. And that wasn't it. Hmm. So these aren't client events, it probably should be. But this is running on the local. So. Uh, I can't do that. Like this. Let's see if we still get the errors. So no errors from that. Hmm. Just wanna I'm trying to figure out where it comes from that error. It doesn't happen now, does it? No. So it's definitely when there's two of them. Uh, so it could be that it's triggering this on all of the clients and then it does that on the button press already. Um uh, Let me see if it happens when we buy stuff and not sell stuff. No, so it's only when we sell stuff. So, uh, It's not this one, it's the on drop.
sell item to merchant and i guess it's updating the widget somewhere here don't think i need to do that since we're doing it from the from the merchant itself with this function anyway let's see if that was the reason Uh, we might just validate it. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I do not need this though, since I'm doing it from the merchant anyway. All right, uh, we're probably just gonna validate it for now, just to get rid of the errors. Um, So, yeah, so it's trying to remove this from parents, like it's trying to delete to remove this when it's not valid. So we're going to convert this to validated get like this. And if it's valid, we're going to remove it from parent. If it's not valid, we're just going to bypass the remove from parent. And from this, it's the same here. We're gonna convert to validate get, and we're only gonna update it if it's valid. And I'm not sure if I added this between videos, but I do the same thing. No, this is what I just made. I did this somewhere else as well earlier, I think. But that should work. So that got rid of some errors. Should for sure have done that. Let's check. Still works. Still an error. Need to do it here as well. Convert validate get. We're gonna do that last. I don't even know where I am now. Inventory component. Show merchant inventory if it's valid we're gonna do it like this and let's make another final check There we go, no errors. Perfect. All right, getting there. Uh, I'm still like, gonna try to get a save function in and uh, do some more error handling. In the next video, I'll just quickly show. I forgot to do it in this one, but I will quickly show how I set this up in the next video. And that's gonna be it for this one. And see you in the next one. Peace out.